This video will give you a brief overview about the Sustainable Apparel Coalition and the Hig Index. Before I dive in, I would like to share with you some images of the most critical global impacts from the apparel, footwear, and home textile sector. These are major challenges that affect us all. Access to clean water is becoming more difficult. Air is becoming extremely polluted. Neglecting worker safety, human rights, and social responsibility is leading to devastating catastrophes. The apparel, footwear, and textile industries are very resource intensive, and the world is coming up against limits. But there is a better way. It's with these five core tenets in mind, active leadership, collaboration, equal partnership, transparency, and continuous improvement, that the Sustainable Apparel Coalition was born. Believe it or not, in 2009, the unlikely pairing of Walmart and Patagonia met not necessarily to save the planet, but to seek solutions to common challenges facing their organizations. Companies were trying to address serious environmental and social issues on their own, which led to audit fatigue. This was hampering them and their value chains from successfully addressing big issues. They determined the need for standard measurement to reduce audit fatigue and shift focus toward improvements at an industry level. Out of this meeting came a radical mission. Collect peers and competitors from across the apparel, footwear, and textile sector, and together, develop a universal approach to measuring sustainability performance. The Sustainable Apparel Coalition, or SAC, has a very holistic and broad vision. An apparel, footwear, and home textile industry that produces no unnecessary environmental harm and has a positive impact on the people and communities associated with its activities. I'd like to take a quick moment to show you some of the milestones of SAC. In 2009, SAC was formed and members began to join the coalition. In 2011 and 12, SAC was incorporated as a nonprofit and the HIG Index was launched. The first version of the HIG Index was an Excel tool. SAC has come a long way in a short period of time with launching the SAC, the HIG Index online, having over 8,000 assessments posted and 179 SAC members as of June 2016. SAC has a very diverse set of stakeholders. It's not dominated by brands or retailers or governments. In fact, to date, the coalition consists of 47 brands, 59 manufacturers, five industry associations, 22 service providers, seven academic institutions, 21 nonprofits, two government entities, and 16 retailers. With that background, I'll transition into the HIG Index suite of tools, the core driver of SAC. Before I tell you the details, I want to set the stage with some statistics to consider when it comes to the full product life cycle, and very importantly, our opportunities. This shows a product's life cycle from design through manufacturing all the way to consumers. 80% of a product's environmental impact is determined at the concept and design phase. More than 80% of water withdrawals is linked to consumer goods. Nearly 20% of industrial water pollution comes from textile dyeing and treatment. Consumer goods account for more than 60% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The U.S. retail industry spends $20 billion in energy costs per year and could save an estimated $3 billion per year through efficiency measures. 2.2 billion tons of municipal waste is expected per year by 2025. In addition to all of this, more than 75% of forced child labor is embedded in consumer goods supply chains. SAC's comprehensive HIG Index suite of tools addresses all of these different impacts and opportunities. There are tools for designers, manufacturers, and brands. SAC is also developing tools for retailers and for communicating product impacts to consumers. The tools you are accessing now are the HIG Index product tools. 
The HIG Design and Development Module, or DDM, informs designers about sustainability opportunities from prototype to finished product. The HIG Material Sustainability Index scores and compares materials and their production processes. The MSI Contributor is where anyone can submit data to add materials and their production processes to the MSI, or Material Sustainability Index. We would love to tell you more about the organization and the HIG Index. Visit our website at apparelcoalition.org. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Thank you for watching this introduction to the Sustainable Apparel Coalition and the HIG Index.